Excellent question. Yes, I am proud to be America's first straight female president. <laughs> Helen? Wasn't I wearing a hat? Oh, ma'am, you really shouldn't teleport when you're pregnant. I'm afraid your only choice is air travel. <laughs> Okay, I can't wait to get into this one. Simpsons have been known to often predict the future, so I wouldn't be surprised if anything on this list became a reality. The people behind the Simpsons are for sure psychics or time travelers. So it's almost like a tunnel. It's a little part of space. You go in there and you pop out somewhere else in the universe. Well, how's it going, YouTube? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dowling, and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. Okay, this is the top 10 Simpsons predictions that haven't come true yet. Be humongous. Okay, starting us off, in at number 10, we have teleportation. Hmm. I take it from that little impressed noise that you are interested in purchasing that matter transporter, sir. The Simpsons created this scene that took place at a garage sale, and what was up for sale was this teleporting machine. This episode seemed way into the future, because the machine was being sold for just two dollars, as if it was like just a normal item. Two bucks, and it only transports matter. Uh, well, uh, I'll give you thirty-five cents. Sold. Homer Simpson bought it. He, he, he was kind of unsure about it, but he bought it and he took it home to use. He put one of the devices on the bottom of his stairs, and he put the other device on the top of his stairs, and that's what he used the machine for. So now he never has to use the stairs again. I'm pretty sure there are much better ways to use a teleporting machine. What would you guys use a teleporting machine for? Let me know in the comment section below. And please give me better ideas than Homer Simpson. Next up, number nine, I think it would be awesome in 2020 to have our first ever female president of America. Excellent question. Yes, I am proud to be America's first straight female president. <laughs> Helen? Wasn't I wearing a hat? Yes, yes you were. Presidency has been around since 1789, and for hundreds of years, there just never was a female president. I don't know why. I think it's time to change that. Hillary Clinton was very close to being the first ever female president of America. Well, we should see a higher number of females running for presidency in 2020. I know President Donald Trump would be devastated to be beaten by a female, but I think it's time for change. Imagine Oprah running. I think she would beat him for sure. Others who would probably beat Trump is Ellen DeGeneres, Michelle Obama, Taylor Swift, Beyonce. Let's add her onto this list. She'd be the best singing president of all time. And actually, you know what? Thinking about it, I could probably list so many people that would be awesome presidents in 2020. Who do you guys think should be the next American president and list females only? And if it had to be a male who's going to be the next president, I would vote for Morgan Freeman. And let's just hope he gives speeches like very often because I would just listen to him and whatever he said, I would just say yes. And I would listen to the president until I fell asleep at night, like every single night. Is that, is that a little creepy? I think so. So you know what? Let's, let's move on. Let's move on to number eight. From teleporting to a female president and now to time traveling to the past because why not? How sick would that be? I don't even know where I would go. I've gone back to the time when dinosaurs weren't just confined to zoos. I would probably go back in time to confirm a few things. Maybe find out who the first flat earther was. I would want to witness the first moon landing. Maybe take a look at some dinosaurs. Maybe find out what actually wiped them out. And I would also time travel to find out what came first, the chicken or the egg. Because that is a pretty important thing to figure out. Number seven, hovering of vehicles. Okay, who knows, this one can actually be reality soon. Technology is advancing so much, so why not? How awesome would this be? You don't have to worry about traffic ever again. You can just fly over vehicles. It won't be scary to drive in the winter time because you don't have to worry about slipping on ice. Concepts for flying cars have already started.
It seems very scary, but flying in airplanes used to be terrifying, but now it's a pretty normal thing. At number six, we have commercial jetpacks. Jetpacks for everyone. Jetpack for you, jetpack for you, jetpack for Oprah. The Simpsons had an episode where Chief Officer Wiggum became the Sky Police. Imagine this. I'm not the police anymore. I'm the Sky Police. Uh, ah, ah, okay, okay. I think I got it. I think this would be so cool. I would never be late for work ever again. I could just jetpack to the studio. I mean, jetpacks have been around, but not for commercial use. Imagine it being sold at Walmart. With this, the only fully functional jetpack in the world. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Moving into number five, imagine magic is real. Well, take a look at this. Sweet, sweet gold. Why didn't you ever tell us you could do magic? Now this would either be awesome or a really bad thing, a horrible idea. You wouldn't want magic to be in the wrong hands. Maybe if we can have like some sort of quality control over magic, it would be so amazing to have. We could magically create food for country that doesn't have enough food. We can create water and we can even cure people. With magic, there's just an endless amount of things that we can do. Imagine we only had so much magic in the world. I wonder how we would vote and what we would use the magic for. Like what if we had like only like a hundred spells and that's it. I don't know what the most important thing is right now with trying to fix the world. This has me thinking way too much, so you know what, let's move on to something else. Something like cloning. Well, cloning comes up at number four. Imagine being able to make two of yourselves. Chores would be done so much faster, and if you want days off of work, you could just send your clone into work. Or maybe you can have like 10 jobs so you can bring in more money. Because the economy these days, it just sucks. So cloning people would either be the best thing or the worst idea ever. But you heard it first here on The Simpsons. Finally pay it off. Well, at least I got my health. Alright, moving on to number three. Imagine having the ability to bring people back to life. Who would you guys bring back? I would bring back so many people. Well, in a Simpsons episode, in the future, Bart Simpson was brought back to life with a quick zap of a gun. Say, let's bring him back to life by using technology. Hi, Karumba! And actually, scientists are already working on bringing people back to life. People are cryogenically freezing themselves in the hopes that one day they'll be brought back to life. For example, if some people have cancer and they're losing the battle, they'll try to freeze themselves in time, hoping that in the future when technology comes around, they'll be able to cure them. And then they can be melted down and cured. Organizations are actually charging people as much as $200,000 to have this done. I don't know how I feel about this whole thing and if it's going to be even possible to one day revive the dead, but you know what? It's an interesting thought to think about. Number two, personalized robots. With their new love bots. <laughs> Make me a Bloody Mary doll face. No, Soma. Even a robot built only to love you cannot love you. I am leaving with your sister's concudroid. <laughs> Imagine your own robot. I honestly think this could be a reality. They can help you with everyday tasks. There would be no more loneliness. Not too long ago, China, they actually just debuted their first AI news anchor and it's just incredible. It's scary though. The future seems to be closer than we think. Take a look at this. Hello, everyone. I'm an English artificial intelligence anchor. This is my very first day in Xinhua News Agency. My voice and appearance are modeled on Zhang Zhao, a real anchor with Xinhua. The development of the media industry calls for continuous innovation. Is this real life right now? How is that a robot? It's just too real. It's pretty scary when you think about it. And didn't we just have a robot last year become the first ever robot citizen of Saudi Arabia? So, hold on, can you solve this puzzle for us? Can robots be self-aware, conscious, and know they're robots? Well, let me ask you this back. How do you know you are human? Finally at number one, superpowers. Imagine science figured out a way to give everyone superpowers. Well, maybe not the criminals. I, I would probably pass on them. But how awesome would this be? The radioactive explosion gave us the power to move things with our intellect. Flowers for the lady. <gasps> Bart, what powers did your brain give you? 
Just imagine the Harry Potter movie being real. I don't think everyone having superpowers would be good, but what if a selection of people who were highly trained enough, well they were the ones that were allowed to have superpowers to fight justice. They would be called superhero crime fighters. Having superpowers could save millions of lives, but given in the wrong hands, it might destroy millions of lives. So maybe we gotta rethink that one. Well there you guys have it, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.